Live from beautiful Coors Field here in Denver, Colorado, an NL West matchup on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Colorado Rockies. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And starting this one, Jeff Criswell. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The pitch. Ball and another ball. 2-0 count. You Two really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. Drill to right, way back there, and that is gone. gigantic blast just like that they move in front it's one nothing the one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened that's not an easy one to stomach well we see this so much more today lineups with pop in the leadoff spot and it really puts the pitcher in a tough spot out there where he has to execute right away you can't just get over a couple of strikes to settle in get comfortable because at the plate that guy's looking to do exactly what he just did start the game off with a huge bang this is Corbin Carroll looking for his first big league hit right here that clips a corner. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. 0-1 now. Yeah. And strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The hey. thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Ball Just one. missed. One and one. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Started after the 0-1 pitch, and now a check down to first. And he went around, according to Patrick Johnson. And here it comes. Wouldn't chase that time. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. That's oh, inside. That's it's a good take. Next down pitch is downstairs. Two. 
Two out, space is empty. Got him looking for the K. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. D-backs get one on the solo jack. It's now a one-nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. Safe to say, he's pretty stingy, Chris. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him. And they're just having a hard time screwing up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. And the righty deals. That one finds the zone, and the count even one and one. The shortstop takes the ball. Two one. And a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Ezekiel Tovar with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's Jake Cave now, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Not one, close no with that one, and that's ball one. Runner at second, nobody out. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Just missed. offering his foul back. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Wow, that's a tough that call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Now it's going to be Brayton Doyle. Fastball for a strike. The old one. Nope, that's inside. And that one cutting but missing down low. Man at second. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizes this one up. Corrals it. Number two. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Aaron Schunk. 
And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly, so watch out when he steps in. Ryan McMahon in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Two outs right through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Set down on strikes. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. The wind of the pitch. That one hammered left field. That's back there. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Josh Bell with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here Jake McCarthy now at the plate. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bun. And what it skips in the dirt. Bell stands at second with no outs. And a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Two Backed off the plate strike. that time. <laughs> Fouls one off. Two and two. Man at second. I got and another ball. Two. Payoff pitch. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Here at the top of the second. That's ripped. Base hit. Headed for the plate. The throw in. But it's offline. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Runner takes off. Strike in there. Oh Save at second, and he easily steals the bag. Here's your one. Line drive. Jones calls it in, and there's one away. The left hand. So up next, Payman Smith. On the ground, right side. 
Sends it to right. Tolia, and there's two away. Batting up. The catcher. And here's the catcher, Jose Herrera. That one's in there. Strike one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. That's hard hit on the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and it's two zip. You're dialed into the show. Bottom of the second. So in now for Colorado, Michael Tolia. Gallon back to work. That's in there. It's 0 1. Swings through that. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready one up ball, there. Two strikes. And that one cutting but missing down low. And a swing and a miss. One away. Really nice job working both sides of the plate for that strikeout. Started the ball inside, then away, back inside again, and that one set him up for that last pitch on the outside part of the plate that he just swung right through. Pretty smooth sequence right there. Sam Hillier digging in for the Rockies. Ball one, no strikes. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. Oh, that's out. The D-backs up by two. Bottom half of inning number two. Ripped on a line. And it goes just foul. That misses the zone. Full count three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing him where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. and misses and the count one and one the one one is fouled off and they'll do it again That's off the mark. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground. Sends it to oh. first. They get the out on Stallings. And it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies. And they're down two nothing. On to the 
third inning. Now it's the second baseman, Patel Marte. Marte goes six foot one, hitting leadoff in today's game, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And that one fouled off. Way out front for strike two. No well, he homered earlier in the game, but showing no fear on the mound so far in this at bat. He's just attacking the strike zone. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. The right three, three, three Corby seven. Carroll swings it now. Good power. And he's homered off some really big names early in his career. Yeah, Boog. His first home run was against Hugh Darvish. He also got to Clayton Kershaw and Max Scherzer shortly after. It's easy to gain confidence when you're having success. Dives, but it falls. Could be extra bases. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Corbin Carroll with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here So one gone with a runner at third. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That clips the corner. Right-hander kicks deals. Popped up. Chunk calls it in to away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Hey, Eugenio Suarez. Just missed. pitch that one the other way jumps but it's off his glove still able to get it there in time he keeps his composure and they get the out one left for Arizona as they're unable to add to their two nothing lead back here at Coors Field now here's Nolan Jones no left field Gallon cites the fact that as a kid he had small hands, and that allowed him to develop his changeup. Still a really good pitch for him now as a major leaguer. And a good eye there. And a foul ball. And that one fouled off. The pitch. And That's another ball. ball. Two balls, two strikes. The 2 2 now. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Well, that's pretty much that the dream two-strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, a hard yeah. downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. Now here is Aaron Schunk. In there for strike one.
the Rockies down by a pair here in the last half of the third. That one, one misses, one right. and the count is one and one. That's out to center field. McCarthy on the move. Stretches out and hauls it in. I tell you what, this is a really cool feeling now when you can that. make that Shut kind of off. catch over the shoulder. It doesn't happen very often. Shut it's not off. easy, but he made it look easy right there. Nice job. So the batting order turns over. Now, Ezekiel Tovar. Right Aye. through there for a strike. 0 oh 1. Check Aye. swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. 0 oh 2. Next pitch misses Two way three. outside. Three. It goes down looking. Nothing across here this half. Three innings complete. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rockies nothing. Welcome back to the ballpark. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Josh Bell. The wind of the pitch. That one catches the zone, and it's 0-1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. He was all the over bat. that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really McCarvey. good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now, here is Jake McCarthy. That catches the corner. High fly ball out into left center field. Jones sizing this one up, squeezes it, one down. The bat, number two, short throw. Perdomo. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Runner on the goal, hit the air, left field, and there are two down. Now that left field, Smith. Now the left fielder, Paven Smith. And that's outside. Nope. Bell off of first with two away. Hey. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. Here's a one two. We chase that time. Stays alive. The two two. Bounced up the middle. And that one handled. Safe at no, second. Haven Smith with his first major league hit 
And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, a great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Bro. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So two on with two away. Jose Herrera getting ready to hit. 0 for 1 so far. That one ripped, but foul. one that one back up the middle and it gets through around third now a long throw home he's safe so he gets two milestones with that hit his first big league knock and he drives in his first run as well yeah you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat and it makes the special moment even more special it's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team that's an at bat he's never going to forget so back to the top of the arizona lineup Here's the second baseman, Cattell Marte. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Denver, go. and now it's going to be Jake Cade. Hey. The wind of the pitch. Breaking hey. ball through there for a strike. All well, these Rockies oh, just haven't produced as many competitive at bats as I'd like to see in this one. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a oh. result. Good eye right there. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's a 2-2. On the ground, right side. Marte. To first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So digging in, Brenton Doyle. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. The Rockies trailing by three. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next pitch oh, downstairs, cool. and it's one and two. Nope. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Ground ball right side. Bell He's takes down. it to the bag. Two up, two down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier or not. Got out in front a little bit. Ball. Rolled over on it and Ryan. beat it into the ground. McMahon. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Fastball for a strike. That one almost got him. And a 1 1. That one fouled off. 1 2 now. 
battling here as he fouls it away. That one to first. Bell handles the chance. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Still down, three nothing. And we're back. Ready, Ready now for the fifth inning. And stepping in is the speedy Corbin Carroll. And the pitch. Foul ball there. You know, these D-backs, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far. And that's something they should feel very good about. On its way to the corner, and no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. The 0-2. And that one is inside. Speaking of those line drives, you can't get too discouraged when they don't drop in for you. It's important to remember that you pretty much did everything Three. right, and that's just baseball sometimes. Goes down looking. Frustrating now, end now, to now. the at-bat for the hitter, hit hit. and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. Yeah, yeah. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Walker inside, stands in now, looks at that one inside. In the air, center field. Doyle under it. Makes the grab, two down. Now got it. Third base. A. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. One finds the zone. That's strike one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Two down, nobody on. Just the missing there. It's two and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Still two and two after the foul ball. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Two outs. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. To third. Throws to first. Out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Rockies nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Michael Tolia. The first base. Michael Tolia. The right-hander back to work. That one down the line, and that's just foul. All these Rockies just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning.
Michael Tolia with his first now major now, league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So now here's the DH, Sam Hillier. That one misses, ball one. There's a swing and a drive. And it's into the gap. Tony, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score, and now just a two-run deficit. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Jacob Stallings now. First time up, he grounded to third. Oh, Just missed. And the 1-0. -on. on the ground to the left. And foul ball. Pitches in there. That's strike two. Aye. Struck him out looking. Next for Colorado, oh, Nolan Jones. Here. Nolan Jones. but it kicks off his glove. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. And they do get the second out of the inning. Now second base. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from him a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. So two down now, and here is Aaron Schunk. Fall off foul. And that nope. one a little below the knees. And that's ball one. comes a pitch fights it off you'll see another that ball is foul and the pressure is building now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss he's gonna have to just change speeds a little bit try to move it around create just a oh, little bit of illusion out. at the end Two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Just off the 
outside part of the play. Ezekiel Tovar up next for the Rockies. And the right hander deals. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. So now two on and two outs. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. When you go that bat, deep bat. into it at bat, that hitter sure. usually comes out on top. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar, one for two. And fouled off. At the belt and fires. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Rocks with the run scoring double. It's now a 3 1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Brian Feltner, on for his major league debut at a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Bell in the box now. No balls and a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Victor Vatnik, the rookie right-hander, is getting loose. Bell, in his eighth season, 31 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. That one pushed foul. And ball one. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Fouls it off, still one and two. The why to kick the pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. A dive, and he can't haul it in. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He yeah, looks yeah. locked in. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. So, man aboard, Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and fires. Just missed. No outs. Runner on second. Next offering is downstairs. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Next to hit for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. Outfield playing pretty shallow. ripped and this one could be extra bases rounds third headed for the plate one run across now two runs score it's 5-1 Geraldo Perdomo with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does 
can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So up next, Paven Smith. Nope. Just missed. And that one is in for a strike. One and one. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count one is ball, one and two. Two straight. Man at second. Three. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. With that kind of velocity and oh, elevated fastball, down. even if it's Protect still down. in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jose Herrera. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And that one lifted in the air center field. Doyle grabs it on the run. The batter. The batter. Second, Second base. Patel. Martin. Here's Cattell Marte. He's already homered in this game. through there for a strike and it's fouled away man on second two down ball Whoa, one there right and that's in the dirt yeah, there's a ball. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Cave going back. Won't get to this one, it drops foul. Two outs. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Threw open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Popped up left side, and it stays fair. The run comes in from second, and the lead is up to five. Picks himself up an RBI. Really not a pitch you want to swing at if you don't have to because it's almost impossible to hit anything that far inside with any type of authority. That one tied him up, but still able to guide it into the outfield somehow. Victor Votnik gets handed the rock out of the men. On for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this ball one. one. Carroll in the box now as he leaves Carol, that one up oh. high. Front there as he swings through. One and one. and another ball. Left hand hitter waits. That's ball three. Already three runs across in the frame, and we're the top half of the sixth. Popped up to the left into foul ground. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Diamondback six, and the Rockies one.
Back here at Coors Field. And now the right fielder, Jake Cade. Gallon back to work. Hey. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. A.J. Puck up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Thompson also throwing. Righty delivers. Now a pop up on the infield. Suarez moving under this one. Makes the grab. And there's one away. The center fielder, number nine, Brenton. Brenton Doyle digs in now. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And there's a foul ball. And the 2 Center field on the move. Two down. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. And now Ryan McMahon. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. And he grounds one to the right side. It's a one, two, three inning for the Rockies. Rockies are down quietly. The lead remains five. It's six one. And welcome back we to the ballpark. And now it's Christian Walker. Christian Walker. The pitch. Just oh, sorry, missed. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Right handed reliever. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. And two away to start the seventh. Up next to the Dynamite, the first base. Two outs, base is empty. Josh Bell at the plate now. Three for threes, double twice, and single. Late on that fastball. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Sliced hard, but foul. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these pitchers really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. High fastball, yeah, even yeah, a little yeah. above the it's zone, but such a good job yeah, of staying yeah. tall on the backside, the getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. And here is Jake McCarthy, Whoa, just yeah. off the inside edge. And 
and that's oh, that off did. the inside edge. And the count is 2-0. And That's another ball. ball. And that's too high. Ball four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk. And the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. So two down. Here's the shortstop at the play. Geraldo Perdomo. To the right side, and that should be extra bases. Headed for the plate, and that rolls into the corner. One run in, here comes another. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they're pulling away up by seven now. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line, and once it got through the infield, it was a double all the way. Second here with two away. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Pavin Smith, one for three. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Jones ranging back. Oh, just side the wall. Oh man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Brandon Fack. And yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there. So I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Michael Tolio now at the plate. Michael Tolio. And here it comes. There's the strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Sam Hillier digging in for the Rockies. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. First pitch, and he just misses. One out, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Nice change up. One ball, two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. That was just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way. Coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Bounce to the left side. And it goes just foul. The other way. Marte. Gets it to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Rockies. It's still an eight one ball game. New inning getting started. Now the D backs catcher, Jose Herrera. And a pitch. There's a strike. Now oh, one missed. In the air right field. Kate pulls it down. One up, one down. Up next to the diamond. The second, the second base. base. So the Cattell. lineup flips over. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off.
One down, base is empty. Strike two. And he deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the eighth. And the righty deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. One Inside, ball. almost Two got right. him. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking at bat. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him Two away. That Two missed right. by a lot. 2-2. Two and Two. Gets under it and pops it up. Should have this one. Puts it away for the out. The white right field, number seven, Corbin. Two outs, base is empty. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. There's a strike. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. Two down, nobody on. Three. Swings and misses, struck him out. Diamondbacks down quickly, and it remains an eight to one game. Back here in Denver, go. bottom of the Four inning. Four so in now for Colorado, Four. Nolan Jones. Four. This kid picked up in a trade. Oh. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. And a pinch. Up oh and God. in, and that is ball one. pitch and ball there's two. a ball spoils that one and it remains two and two left hand batter waits foul ball another two two upcoming Wouldn't Apple. chase that time. Out to short. Perdomo oh. on to first. So they get the out after a long battle now at the plate. The second base. Aaron. Aaron Schunk digging in for the Rockies. In there, and it's 0-1. The pitch. That one misses ball. the zone. Going to count one and two. And that skips in the dirt. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. And down on strikes, two out. This guy will throw any pitch in any count, three, two. He goes off speed. 
gets the out. The bat. So the Rockies That's lineup the turns bat. over. Next to him for the Rockies, Ezekiel Tovar. Ground ball left side. Zips it to first, and it's a one, two, three inning. Justin Lawrence gets the ball now. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Now it's the City DH, the Christian Walker. Christian Walker. The pitch. And that is in for a strike. Going one. Lawrence goes six feet, three inches, 215 pounds, and he was born in Panama. Going two now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance up you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Suarez batted with one down, takes a strike. And now the 1 and a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Three. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two gone. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out now the first out. two batters he's faced in this one. Getting John, straight John. to work. Man, yeah, it's yeah. talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Four for four, two doubles and two singles. Right hey. through there for a strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. The 0-1. And that one fouled off. That's yep, outside. That yeah, the count one and two. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes. So tough to do it. Two outs. Stays alive. Fights that one away, still one and two. And a pitch. Ah. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. Nothing doing here this half. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the nine. It's the Diamondbacks eight, and the Rockies one. We're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Jake Cade. Back, back to work. Wide drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn it for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Jake Cade with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here
so man aboard Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies that one finds the corner and that is strike one Cave leads off second with nobody out That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Outside. Oh, well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate disciplined to lay off of that pitch. Just off the outside corner. And yeah, that's two ball two. Two strike. Gets a piece and stays alive. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Ryan McMahon will hit next. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Close one. Doesn't get the call. 1-0. The Diamondbacks up big in this one. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And another ball. And a foul ball. Next offering okay. is down low. Man at second. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball and it remains a full count. The pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. And they're down to their last out. The first base hit number four. Michael. Next for Colorado, Michael Tolia. Swung on, bolted. Carrying out of here, a massive home run, and they cut into the lead. It's 8 3. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all, he squared it up right away. This pitcher's velocity, a changeup, is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Two outs, nobody on. Sam Hillier getting ready to hit. First oh, offering, and it just misses. Two down, nobody on. Oh. And downstairs. Oh. 
The next All offering three. misses. And now 3-0. And that clips the inside corner. And the right-handers 3-1. That's ball for a strike. The Rockies down to their final strike. Good job to fight that one off. And they'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. He forced a lot of pitches to be thrown and ends up collecting a hit. Man, that was a pretty good battle with the play, and I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Ryan Thompson. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The D-backs leading by five. Here the last half of inning number nine. Hit to second, and this should do it. On to first, ball game. Gallon with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. 8-3 the final in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.